channel today we are going to see the next topic architecture or configurations of a hybrid electric vehicle drive trains so basically this configuration is nothing but architecture or configurations so both are same which is nothing but how you assemble the different components in an electric vehicle is called as a configuration or sometimes this is also called as architecture how you arrange different components of an hybrid electric drive train let's try to see basically there are four types of configurations so first configuration is series hybrid configuration second one we call it as a parallel hybrid configuration parallel hybrid configuration and third one is a combination of both which is nothing but series parallel hybrid vehicles so which is a combination of both we would call it as a complex hybrid so the fourth configuration we call it as a complex hybrid electric vehicle so generally after drawing diagram you can understand actually this series hybrid electric vehicle we call this as and coupling which is called electrically coupled so this is called electrical or electrically coupled so in parallel hybrid we have mechanical coupling in series parallel we have both electrical coupling plus mechanical coupling so here here also in the complex also you have electrical and mechanical coupling let's try to see why it, what is electrical coupling how they are uh, coupled each other and let's try to understand uh, both now let's try to understand about uh, series hybrid electric vehicle okay so first configuration is series hybrid electric vehicle okay so how this configuration exists what are the how it is why it is called uh, electrical coupling let's try to experience now okay so we are going to have some few parts so first one is uh, you have an fuel tank you have a fuel tank uh, which consists of petrol or diesel and the output of the fuel tank is connected to an internal combustion engine so this is nothing but our ic engine and the ic engine will produce an output which is called as the mechanical output and this mechanical output is connected to the engine so engine will convert the mechanical to okay this engine will convert the output as mechanical and here this engine is nothing but uh, we call this engine in or in our technical electrical as generator so now we converted to the generator input is mechanical output is uh, electrical so from fuel tank it goes to the ic engine and ic engine here it converts the fuel into an mechanical output from mechanical output you are going to get the engine with the help of an generator and here comes the heart we are going to have an power converter power converter so here power converter plays an major role so we have different symbols of representation let's try to see that the symbols of representation each we have a code of representation so if we use okay later i will show you so here you have a power converter so in this power converter only where we will perform electrical coupling so here we perform electrical coupling so to this electrical coupling at the input side you are going to have an battery so here you have an battery and you can see here here i am going to represent uh, with the dark color lines which indicates uh, this are electrically coupled and to this we have an connected to an electric motor so we are going to connect it to an electric motor 
and output of the electric motor we are going to connect to an transmission okay so which is called as a gearbox so here we are going to connect this to an transmission or gearbox so this is called as a we have the transmission in this transmission we have gearbox of required ratio and output of the transmission we are going to connect it to an differential okay so why because this is called as differential at the back of any vehicle you can see the circular body is there where it is called differential why because resultant torque is available we need to split the torque okay so i want to split the torque across wheel 1 and i want to split the torque across wheel 2 so consider this as two wheels of an electric vehicle this is wheel 1 at the front end and wheel 2 at front end so here we are going to split the required torque into two torques as t1 as well as as t2 that's why this differential is also called as a torque splitter this is called as torque splitter so now coming to the connections how we have the connections so here we are going to draw the connections if you have only one line consider this as a electric if you have dark line here one line is there or dark line so if it is a dark line then you can understand this is an electrical link if you have only single line okay so this is nothing but a hydraulic link and if you have two parallel lines then you can consider this as an a mechanical link so like this you are going to classify now let us try to see here where you have the electrical and mechanical link so from the generator we get electrical power therefore here we are going to have the electrical link and from the converter to the motor also you have an electrical link where i am showing this electrical link as an dark color line so this is we have an dark dark color line and now you can see here so single line is nothing but a hydraulic link from hydraulic ic engine we are propelling by using the mechanical energy we are uh, using an generator so this is nothing but our generator we converted the mechanical to electrical and battery also you have an dc supply so this dc supply is there i am assuming here i have an induction motor ac i need to convert this ac into dc sorry dc into ac so this is possible with the help of an inverter so with the help of an inverter i can convert this dc supply into ac supply so here the power converter is nothing but the inverter for sometimes and it's given to the motor and i want to convert this torque into two different torques that's why i'm using a differential with the help of an gearbox which is called as transmission and you can see here the power flow is like this okay the power will start flowing from fuel tank to ic engine and it goes to the engine and it goes to the power converter which is nothing but the inverter and once again it goes to the motor and once again resultantly it reaches the vehicle so this red color line shows the power flow and ultimately how the engine power reaches the car so here you can see here there is no mechanical link i mean engine as well as the motor don't have mechanical link this is very 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 important since there is no mechanical link this wheel can be driven at the required speed which is independent of the characteristics of the engine speed if you want to drive more you need to have bigger size engine so this problem is overcome with the help of this battery and this power converter so that's how we have an isolation from both engine as well as the motor so this is one of the main important feature so you can see here what kind of coupling we have which is nothing but electrical coupling or this is called also called as power coupling that's how resultant torque is available this is about series hybrid electric vehicle now come to the 
parallel hybrid electric vehicle so second one is a parallel hybrid electric vehicle the same we are having but let's try to see the only the major differences okay so next one is a parallel parallel hybrid electric vehicle here we are going to have the mechanical coupling so why it is mechanical let's try to see here the same how we have here here also you have an fuel tank which consists of uh, petrol or diesel and output of this we are going to connect to an internal combustion engine and output of this engine we are going to couple to an mechanical coupler so here we are having an a mechanical coupler so here you have the block where this block is called as a mechanical coupler okay so with this uh, help of this mechanical coupler we are going to see here this is uh, one configuration and from mechanical coupler we are directly going to connect to an uh, transmission so this is nothing but uh, the transmission what we have which consists of gearbox so this is nothing but uh, the transmission and output of this transmission we are going to connect to an differential so here we have differential so this is nothing but uh, differential so which use it to convert the single torque into two torques uh, with the help of an uh, where this differential we are going to call it as a torque splitter this is also called as torque splitter so therefore the resultant torque is splitted like this and here we have the wheel 1 and here we have the wheel 2 so two wheels the torque is successfully splitted and coming to the remaining parts and here you have the battery so here you have battery and here you have power converter which is nothing but uh, electrical coupling so power converter here this power converter we assume this as an inverter and power converter is directly connected to the electric motor so here we have the motor this motor is mechanically coupled now let us try to see each configuration step by step the way of uh, connecting each other okay so these are the parts we have so now let us try to see the connections so basically you are having a fuel tank which consists of uh, petrol and diesel so from this fuel tank we have an control link this is nothing but we have a single hydraulic connection from this IC engine we are going to have an, a mechanical link so this is how we are showing the mechanical link and from this mechanical link we are going to have an battery this battery is an DC supply and this battery and this inverter are having an electrical link this electrical link we are showing with a dark color line so dark color line and this inverter and here we have an dc supply and motor requires ac supply we are converting this dc into ac with the help of an action which is called as an inverter so here also we have an electrical connection between each other and this motor is having so these two are nothing but mechanical links as already told these two are mechanically linked this we are going to call it as mechanical it couples this engine and this now coming to the power flow how the power flows is so first the power flows from fuel tank it goes to the ic engine and it goes to the mechanical coupler and resultant torque is available so battery is having a dc supply and this dc supply will be converted into 
AC supply with the help of a power converter and usually the power is available at the mechanical coupler and both will be coupled which is available at the transmission and resultantly the torque is available at wheel 1 and wheel 2. You can see here two parallel lines are there that's why this is called as a parallel hybrid electric vehicle configuration or architecture or this is called as a a mechanical coupling so this is called electrical coupling and mechanical you can see here almost all the parts are there but here connected via electrical coupling so this is connected via an mechanical coupling so this is how the motors are classified as a series hybrid electric vehicle and parallel hybrid electric vehicle now coming to the next configuration series parallel electric vehicle so next one is third one is series parallel both series and parallel combination series parallel hybrid electric vehicle which consists of electrical coupling plus which consists of mechanical coupling both are there let's try to see how this uh, configuration exists uh, now let's try to draw the parts one by one so here basically you are going to have an, a fuel tank and connected to an IC engine and we directly here you are going to have one mechanical coupler and this mechanical couple mechanical output is giving we are going to convert that uh, mechanical energy into electrical energy with the help of an generator and output of the generator we are going to have a uh, power converter here so here we are going to have a power converter and to, before to this power converter already we know from this above configuration we have an battery at the top so here we have a battery and we have a power converter and this power converter output it is connected to an electrical motor we have been connected to an electrical motor and now this mechanical coupling from this electrical motor you have an mechanical coupling from here also you have an mechanical coupling and we are connecting now to the transmission transmission and same output of the transmission once again we are going to connect to the differential which is also called torque splitter and from there it is available at the output of the wheels as resultant wheel w2 as the resultant wheel w1 so now let us try to see the connections how they exhibit so you have an fuel tank, you have an IC engine, you have an mechanical coupler, you have a generator. So from fuel tank to IC engine, we have an uh, hydraulic link. So fuel tank to IC engine, you have an hydraulic link. From IC engine to this mechanical, you require a mechanical coupling. And mechanical coupling to generator also input is mechanical, output is uh, electrical. So from here onwards, you get a dark line, which is nothing but uh, electrical coupling. So this is how we have an uh, electrical coupling here. So battery also, what is there? DC supply is there. Here you have an AC supply. How we can convert this DC into AC? This is with the help of only an inverter. Therefore, here you have a uh, dark color line, which is nothing but a uh, electrical link and this inverter is connected to the motor again here also you have an electrical link which is nothing but a dark color one so that is how you can see now why it is called a series parallel connection let's try to do here so see here so directly the power flows uh, petrol and diesel goes to diesel engine diesel engine goes to the mechanical coupler and it's available at transmission and next this is one line 
and next one is uh, the power also goes like this so i can say these two are these two power flows are in parallel and the next power flow so this is uh, power flow one this is power flow two and third power flow is petrol diesel goes to ic engine from ic engine goes to mechanical coupler and it comes to the generator and from the generator it goes to the power converter and this is how it goes now you can see here one two three both are in parallel therefore this is called the second third one is called as series and one and two are called as parallel that's why this is called so here the mechanical coupler is there here what we are going to have is we have a mechanical coupling so here this inverter acts to take the electrical input and the one more input from the battery that's why here it exhibits as an electrical coupling so you have both electrical coupling as well as mechanical coupling that's why this is called as a series parallel hybrid electric vehicle which consists of electrical coupling as well as the mechanical coupling now let's try to see the next hybrid electric vehicle which is nothing but a complex hybrid electric which is almost all same as a series parallel hybrid electric vehicle so next one we have as a complex hybrid electric vehicle now let's try to see this complex hybrid electric vehicle the same parts we are going to have so here also you have an fuel tank and next device is ic engine and output of this ic engine we are connected to the mechanical coupler and from here the mechanical coupler we are going to have an generator and again you are having an a power converter and output of the power converter it goes to the battery and output of the battery once again you have power converter and output of the power converter you have an electric motor and output of the motor we are going to have an so from this mechanical coupling also we have a mechanical output so now these two outputs the mechanical outputs we are going to have a transmission where this transmission consists of an gearbox and output of the transmission we are going to connect it to an differential which is also called torque splitter and from this torque splitter we are going to have an again mechanical connections with wheel 1 as well as wheel 2 now let's try to see how these uh, connections are there so you have fuel tank ic engine connected to mechanical couple and connected to generator connected to power converter connected to battery connected to power converter as well as the motor so now the connection between the fuel tank ic engine is nothing but uh, we have an hydraulic link and ic engine is connected to the mechanical couple here also you have an hydraulic link but mechanical coupler input is what mechanical this is directly connected to the transmission input is mechanical output is electrical in the case of a generator so ultimately you will get an electrical output so here you are going to have a dark line which is nothing but this power converter acts as an electrical coupling and output of the power converter is once again goes to the battery and from the battery this goes to the one more power converter this is an uh, additional this is additional power converter from this power converter once again it goes to the motor and once again you have an uh, mechanical link so this is so now when you see this uh, power flows uh, how this power flows uh, occurs 
So from first from fuel tank, the power flows to IC engine and directly goes to mechanical and to the transmit. This is the first power flow. Second power flow is fuel tank, IC engine, mechanical couple and this mechanical output is converted into electrical through generator and it goes to the power converter and through power converter, this power converter acts as an rectifier and this power converter acts as an inverter. So and how this power flows from power converter to battery and from battery it once again goes to the power converter to is nothing but inverter and resultantly this flows in this direction what shown in the arrow mark so you can see here this is series connection and this is parallel and here also this motor convert this is also once again in parallel so this is a combination of a series connection and this is a combination of a two parallel connection automatically i can call this as an hybrid electric vehicle where it has electrical so this power converter acts as an electrical coupling this acts as a electrical coupling okay this is electrical coupling and this is also electrical coupling so the power flows from fuel tank to engine engine to the mechanical power to generator and then power converter battery power converter to the battery and directly from mechanical coupler is connected to the transmission through battery will discharge this power goes to the inverter action why because uh, in the battery you have an dc supply but in the case of a motor you have an ac supply this a dc supply will be converted into ac with the help of an inverter action that's how you can see almost all all are uh, same so here you have the power flow is like this which is nothing but uh, a series that's why it is called series hybrid electric vehicle or electrical coupling when you come to the parallel this is parallel line one this is parallel line two automatically this nothing but a parallel hybrid electric vehicle which is called as a mechanical coupling so here both so this is a parallel line one this is parallel line two and the one more red color line which is nothing but series series plus parallel this is called series hybrid parallel electric vehicle next one this is one parallel line this is another parallel power flow and insidely there's one more this is extra power converter the power flows from fuel tank ic engine and the shown arrow mark the power flows that's how successfully we have four architectures or four configurations of hybrid electric vehicle so now you can understand this the first one is series hybrid electric vehicle parallel hybrid electric vehicle series parallel hybrid electric vehicle and complex hybrid electric vehicle series hybrid electric vehicle is called as electrical coupling parallel hybrid electric vehicle is called mechanical coupling series parallel hybrid electric is called electrical plus mechanical coupling complex hybrid electric vehicle is also electrical and mechanical hope the video is useful so please support like this of channel please give one like and share with your friends if you feel the content is useful and subscribe to the channel so please give your support to do more videos on electric vehicles and then electrical engineering thank you for watching